Hi, and welcome back to our videos on CSS. In this video, I want to begin talking about how to apply borders using CSS to tables. So you can see here I've got my table. Right now I've just set up some basic formatting to center the table on the page and set the width, as well as align the content and set some padding around my table. So now we're ready to go ahead and put some borders on. Now, if you wish to place a border all the way around your table, you can simply do that by adding that command to the table selector. So I'm going to go ahead and do border, and I'm not going to specify border top, bottom, left, or right because I want it to go all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is going to be a one pixel black solid border going around my table. And I will save that and click over here, and there is my table. I can even apply rounded corners and do different things. Now let's say I want a border to separate the footer area from the main content of the page. Now doing that what we can do is this is inside of the a T foot element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a top border to the T foot element. And it's actually going to be a gray dashed border. So I'm going to come back in here to table and I'm going to go ahead and open up the selector T foot. And I'm going to say that this is the style that I'm going to apply is going to be border top. And it's going to be a thin one pixel border that's going to be um, like a dark gray. And it's also going to be dashed in style. So we'll go ahead and close off that style and save it. Now when I click over here, you don't see anything's happening. But I've specifically said find the T foot section and put a top border on that. So what's the problem? If you're working with a table, you can place a border all the way around your table very easily by just putting the border command in here. But if you want to apply borders to any other elements inside of the table, like THs, TDs, the semantic um, T body, T foot, and T head, or onto rows, you need to actually tell Dreamweaver to collapse the HTML borders. Now I'm going to come in here to design view and come out of live view. And you can see there's a little bit of space between those borders right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into the code and in the table view I'm going to go ahead and say border collapse. That's the property that we want to set and we're going to set it to collapse. I'll save it and click over here. Now you're not actually going to see these borders collapse. You're not going to actually see any changes. If I go into live view though you will see some changes you're going to notice the table spacing is a little bit less and there's now that dashed border above the T foot area. So if you want to use borders on interior table elements you need to collapse the border. And again if you're in the regular Dreamweaver view you're not going to see any difference when that happens. But if you're in live view looking, let me go ahead and actually cut that out of there and save it. When you're in live view, you're going to see the difference. You'll see that border disappeared, and you're also going to see that the table became a little bit larger. Let me go ahead and put that back in here. So I'm going to do border collapse and save. When I click over here, watch what happens to the spacing on my table. You'll see it got a little bit smaller, and now I can apply that on there. And I can do the same thing for the T head region. I'm going to go ahead and open a style up for the T head region. And again, remember that encompasses both this heading line here as well as the title for my table. And I'm going to go ahead and say border bottom is going to be a one pixel dark gray dash border also. When I click over here, you'll now see those borders have been applied. Let's do one more thing. Let's actually put a dotted line up here on the top to sort of finish that off. 
Now, that actually won't work the way we've got this set up because I've actually applied the T-head section here and said border bottom. But what I want is I want a border in between these two items. So in between the title and the heading region. Now up to this point, we've just been using tag styles. In our next video, we're going to learn how to create a class style that will apply these borders just as easily to our table.